guys good morning welcome back to another video hope you all are doing fine so um before i go any further into this video i want you all to go over to barrington vlogs that's b-a-r-r-i-n-g-t-o-n vlogs on youtube go like comment subscribe and share their videos they have some very interested content over there so please go over there and like comment subscribe and share their videos and tell them that unstoppable crack sent you and i'll be going over there to make sure that i saw you guys in the i see you guys in the comment section so um in this video what i want to um talk about is about a very disturbing um piece of information or news that i see circulating on social media about a 17 year old girl who was beaten by six grown ass female who call themselves mothers too so before I give my two cents, I want to read you all something from the Jamaica Star, okay? So here it goes. There are only smiling faces when Kaylan Dowdy is around. The 17-year-old past student of Papin High School is described as a comedian of her old soul. So it was no surprise when she told her mother that she wanted a career in acting. Unfortunately, the teen loved ones may never get a chance to hear her contagious laughter again as she is currently on life support in the University Hospital of the West Indies after she was beaten up by a group of women last Saturday night along Barbican Road. Her mother, Venetia Buckley, was in tears when the Weekend Stars spoke with her yesterday. I am just coming from the hospital and the doctors are telling me that she is not going to make it. It is 1% chance them give me a baby to live. Just 1%. The 1% is just because her eyes are open. My baby cannot breathe on her own at all. The doctors say they can't take her off the machine. They beat my baby and gave her 1% at life, the distraught mother said. Buckley said she was told that the fight started at a party that her daughter was attending on Boys Lane. I was told that a girl asked her why she was looking at her and my daughter responded, by asking her what did she take to see her. I heard that the girl began to flare up and an argument ensued. Based on what I heard, the girl and my daughter did not know each other. The girl hit her and while the fight and the fight started. Another woman came and hit her with an NSC bottle and hit her in the head. All of them, about six of them, turned on my daughter and beat her, she said. Buckley said the woman continued to beat Kayla and even when she fell to the ground and also stabbed her in the neck. Wow. While this was happening, everyone at the party was just standing and enjoying the show. No one came to her assistance. One of her friends was running up and down trying to get help, but she was laying on the ground for over an hour as persons were pronouncing her dead. Because we're not on doctor and also start pronouncing people dead. She said, Buckley said she had just come home from work when she got the spine-chilling news and instantly went to the hospital where she saw Kaylan unconscious. These females are heartless, evil, and wicked. They are monsters. They are very evil for jumping my child. I can't wish anything good for them and all who stand around and watch the attack. I can't and my feelings are conscious, she said. Head of the St. And St. Andrew North Police Division, Superintendent Aaron Fletcher, said investigations are currently being carried out. What I know is that there was a fight among a total of five females who were in attendance at a party. But my information is that this dispute started by the way of a quarrel over a male. They were fighting over a man, essentially, and that, were, that would have resulted in two of them being injured and taken to the hospital. One was treated and released, and the other, who was a 17-year-old, is admitted in serious condition, Fletcher said. Now, let me give my two cents on this. First thing first, you all realize that what is happening are the nonsense that come out of these parties that was not supposed to help be happening because it, the Jamaica is in curfew, right? And people are still keeping their little parties here and there. And every time when you keep them party, a, a be a nonsense come out of them. Six shot, one dead. Three shot, one dead. Gunman pull up, spray the entire party and everybody start running up and down like my people. When you must learn to obey rules and laws. That is what I had to say. Next thing first is that what I realized... Not, not only with Jamaica, but the world on a whole. When something is happening, or somebody is laying down, they're dying. There's nobody ever going to run to that person because everybody take out their cell phone and everybody started to make a video or they started to take photographs to be sent to the social media web. You understand? While the poor girl is lying down, they're dying and needs some help. We, we don't, nobody, 
And who wasn't who was a video and they were saying that she was dead? Come never know say now that we turn doctor so we can pronounce people dead. Uno can't pronounce somebody dead brother because no no doctor. Uno did any girl I breathe call for help or, or you know, take the person throw him in a gun carry or carry or go to the hospital. Make a doctor then pronounce her dead because uno can't pronounce somebody dead. And that's what we typically do when such thing happen in Jamaica. We, we, we pronounce death over the people in life. We don't no try to seek help or do nothing but we are pronounced death. We have made video because everybody wants to become famous on Facebook. You understand what I say? And this is so wrong. And I, 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 just, don't, I just don't see how come we as a, as, a, as a country reach from the so caring individual to just not caring none at all. I, I can't see how we reach to that stage in life right now. And then for the... Um, for the, for the, um, I don't care how it started, if it was over man, or who look on who bad, or who never look on who bad. I don't see how come such six grown-ass hardback women find you upon themselves to go take up and set up on a 17-year-old girl and beat her like that. That she will not only have a 1% chance of survival. And even if she do survive, she's going to become vegetable matter. Vegetable matter meaning that she'll be paralyzed, she'll be handicapped according to we. Jamaicans, she's gonna be handicapped, paralyzed, can't help herself. I know all know we come with that. A mountain of bills. We know all know we come with that. One mountain of bills. And who's gonna help that mother now to be running from here to there to do to do surgery to get this done to get that done? Whereas during this pandemic, where nobody now have no job, everything come to a standstill. How is the mother going to manage right now with all these bills, even if she do survive? We are praying and hoping that the, for a miracle so that this, this, this girl may survive. We are hoping and praying to God that she survive. But what if she don't? What's going to happen to all these six females? And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this without apology. The law needs to find on and deal with you know, to the full extent of the law. Or even jungle justice on the need to forget. I'm going to say this without no apology. Y'all need to get the same fate, the same thing that happened to that 17 year old. You six females. Y'all need to have that same thing happen to, to, to a six hour. God Almighty no, you no deserve to live and make it worse on a call on a cell so you tell on a cell so no mother. But don't know no mother. You know an animal, brother. Oh, how can you you and, and make it worse you know, take NSC back to them and they hardly cut this woman so long and a drink. You see, sometimes we talk about certain man name worse, but you see, some of we female, we just as worse as some of the man name where we, where, where we are calling them for notary words. Some of we are better than the man name. Some of we are worse than, 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 than the man name we are talking about. We are really upon the kidnap people. Some of we are worse than them, we are better. And some of we are set up too. Because some of we are who the man, the man name used to put on the forefront when they want to commit, when they commit any crime. You understand? Some of we are better than the man name out there where they do them things. You understand? Who no better because you hear them say rat say they no blame the one who kill him, they blame the run who says see rat day. Well, who no know? One who no should I know better than that man? Enough, it, who, no, this wrong, we can't do this. But no, instead everybody under them liquor, everybody decides say, wait, from a girl violate, we actually go pay a feet. I know so you go, brother. I know so you go. Somebody should have been there and be the bigger woman and say, no, we can't do this because it's a 17 year old, a pit in this area. We can't do this. You understand? If if you no claim say sitting up, no call the police, make the police go and deal with this lawfully. We all don't want to take up things now, no and why? I can't do the beating of this girl. I may tell her say, God Almighty knows say if I don't feel me pitting me now, wait until no police go and tell me say and tell me that me I go in search of them six animal the way we beat up the pitting like that. Me I go search who no. And when me me deal with them, me want me deal with them, but me no want the police get no hand for who no. You understand me? Because this hurt. You have any idea for walking in one hospital and see a pitting lie down for this so can't breathe, can't do nothing? She only have a one percent. The little girl is literally brain damaged. You know, so the brain control every part of the body, right? And from the brain damaged, there's nothing that you can do. Everything is just shh. you can't do nothing because everything is damaged. Your brain control all, all the body activities. And once your brain is damaged, your whole entire body is damaged. You can't do nothing without the brain. So she gets hit with a NSC bottle in her head and then she gets stabbed. Oh god man, that is just too much for a 17-year-old girl. It's just too much. I mean, I mean, I mean, I say, on the knee, if you get jungle justice, God Almighty, you know, if I could have honor, on the mama, frack on the run, go the knee, if you find, you know, and deal with, you know, on the deal with that 17 year old girl, because, you know, easy, you know, easy, when a mother feel a cry like that about her child, you know, easy, brother, you know, easy for me walk in the hospital, look for my picnic, lie down for this, that, the bed, there, we don't know nothing, she brain damaged, she brain dead, you understand? And she may not, there's a chance, there's a high possibility that she may not survive. You understand me? Uno need to get jungle justice for this. And the authorities they need to act fast for this. They need to find on one who won't go. Uno need to get fine. Uno need to be deal with it. You see, all of them people who shot the this video, Uno dear go come. Remember me telling them that Uno dear bone to come. 
Remember, I'm telling someone that I'm going to come and I'm going to need help and people are going to video on the same way. I saw a reach with technology these days. Instead of if you try, if you, try if you call for help with it, they take out phone and I video this and I video that because everybody wants to become the social media um, person that is so famous of posting this video. That doesn't make no sense, brother. Try to seek help for the person when you're lying down there so bleeding and unconscious. Try to seek help before you start do this and do that because all of this is, does, does not make no sense. We're not get from this now. We're not going to get from run. We're not going to get run. And I understand when you claim say when you know bad, I don't do this, I don't, I don't do that, and yet still hold on the panel run from police and, and the people in our, in our community. Guys, please let me all know what you think about this video because this hurt me to the core of my head right now. I'm so hurt by this um, tragic incident, but this is where we as a society um, reach. This is, this is where we reach because sometimes things don't, don't happen to you until you things don't hurt you until you reach one doorstep, brother. But anyhow, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Please remember to go to Barrington Vlogs and go like, comment, and share the video. I'm out. Peace. I think she's going to make it because the part of the brain that controls her, her breathing regulations is not working. Part of the brain that controls her motor skills, hands and foot dance, not, not working either. They say they don't think that even if she survives, she will be able to do anything other than lay down. They said that they, they do, she's not going to remember anything. Oh. She's not going to know anybody. Jesus. She's not going to be able to talk. She's not going to do anything. Jesus. They said they give her 1% and the 1%. When they asked me if I got an update as yet on her condition. Yeah. I said no. So they said all right. I should tell them what I know so far. Yeah. Well, I told them what I know. Yeah. Um, as I've told you guys. The update today is that. Ah, yeah. They they don't think she's gonna make it because the part of the brain that 